Hello everybody and welcome to another edition of Machete Pro. This time it is Machete Pro number 15, Circles and Arrows. And tonight we got ourselves a match card. Of course, in our main event for tonight, we have AJ Gray looking to take the MP Gold Bowl title from Neil Diamond Cutter. We've seen Neil Diamond Cutter defend the title in a triple threat match, knocking out Michael Sotomayor with the Death Valley Driver. We could see it later on. We could see it later on. Uh, Darius Carter takes on Kazuchika Okada. A match that has been kind of... It, it's been a match a lot of people have been wanting to see. Darius Carter very much loving the pose of the Rainmaker. And it's going to be a match. Of course, after that, we have Larry D. Ting on Caden Carter. Kota Bushi Ting on Jimmy Wang Yang. Kelly Kelly and Danhausen revisit their feud as... This time, the tag match, Kelly Kelly teaming up with Eve Torres to take on Danhausen and Warhorse, the team of Warhausen. And then Wolf Hawkfield Hulk, is going to take on Haruki Goto. Kira is going to take on Rach, Rachel Ellering. And of course, to open up our show, we're going to have a little bit of a showcase match here. It is going to be Chuck Mambo taking on TK Cooper. This should be an interesting match, to say the least. Very much two men wanting to make their name known in the Machete Pro. As I now look for Chuck Mumbo. I really need to turn off Google on my phone. That is annoying, but that's for later. There's Chuck Mumbo here. Should get, is there a difference? Oh, he's got a rock the green, brother. Now we go find, oh, Dickie Cooper's right there. Alright, so we got our opener here. Of course, your referee for all the matches is Mills Lane, as per usual. Everything seems to be set in place. And, alright, I think we're good. So we're going to start off with our opening match here. Chuck Mambo, TK Cooper, let's do it. Of course, I mentioned this match, very much a showcase match for these two men here in Machete Pro. Here we go, starting off here with a lockup. Chuck Mamba going for the knee there. And a body slam by TK Cooper. Both of these men, of course, very well known in the Brit Res scene here. Very, very much well known in that area. Deciding to come here to make their name known. Chuck Mamba, of course, very well known in Riptide, was once their top champion powerbomb cover by tk cooper only getting a one though in that exchange forearm to the face by mambo tk answers it with a european uppercut and a big old arm drag by chuck mambo roll up cover doesn't even get a one mills lane very slow for the count there irish whip into a hurricane rana by chuck mambo Bunch of, they're scrapping. These two, of course, very much best friends. Yeah, they probably know each other a lot. A lot of, know a lot of their moves here. Very much you can see TK sobbing himself in the ropes there. Jack Mambo picking up. Going for that forearm. TK answering the same way. Big fucking forearm there by Chuck Mambo. And our insecurity by TK Cooper picking up Mambo there. Big arm drag as well. Punch across the face, forearm across the face, Hurricane Rana by Cooper. Cooper has, having the advantage here, but Chuck Mambo takes it back. Oh my god, what a move by Chuck Mambo there. Over the knees. Another European uppercut by TK Cooper. Big old forearm as well. Suplex into the outside, Mills Lane going to the side here, counting. Bump into each other there. Oh my god, what a what a move there by TK Cooper. Both of them are back up though. And another a suplex. TK dragging Chuck Mumbo out of the ropes there. Goes for a headbutt. It doesn't seem to didn't seem to connect though. Mumbo back on the advantage, but very much tired. Sending Cooper to the corner here. Cooper getting reversed. And a suplex right on the apron. Referee Mills Lane right on the action here. Cowing. Oh, good move there. But Mambo cover. Two. No. Kick out by TK Cooper. Reversal. Mambo hyping up the crowd despite the fact there is no crowd here. 
Elbow to the face. Irish whip clothesline. Nearly taken off the head of Chuck Mambo there. Oh, dropping him on his head there. Sort of a variation of the Brain Buster. Cover! No, getting a two on that one. Doesn't get the job done quite yet. Looked like... Looked like TK Hoover was planning on something there, but... Chuck Mambo just way too fast. Mambo getting the advantage here. TK reverses with an elbow. Suplex by TK. And he picks up. Oh, Mambo playing possum there. And big ol' arm drag yet again. Good goal. Suplex it again. Sending Mambo to the outside. Gets right back in though. Irish whip. And a big arm drag by Mambo. Very much loving those arm drags there. Suplex. We're basically returning the favor to Cooper. And another fucking variation of the Bean Buster. God damn. Cover. Is that all she wrote? No. Very much still in it. As I mentioned, this is a showcase match. These two wanting to impress everybody here in Machete Pro. And a big ol' Herc and Rana by TK Cooper. Four punching across the face. They're scrapping. The big scrap super kick by Cooper. Takes down Mambo. Doesn't go for the pin though. Mambo once again going for those knees to the stomach of Cooper. Cover rope break though. Super kick across the face of Chuck Mambo. Hooks the leg. Cover. No. Mambo still has some fight in him left. Getting it. Who? Big Hurricane Rana. PK's going up to the top here. Big frog splash in the ropes, though. Gotta break that up. Mambo looking to take advantage. Super kick to the face. Mambo's getting up. Could he also be going for a frog splash? No, he's going for double knees to the fucking chest. Cover. No, two count. These two going at it. Tree of Joey Lawrence. Whoa, going for the stomps to the stomach. Whoa. John Mama looked like he was going to go for something there. Roll. Hurricane Rana cover. Wow, very close. Could not get it though. Brain, well, again going for that move there. DK. Big clothesline by TK Cooper. Gal gets dragged through leg whip though. Both men are down here. Big German suplex. Holy crap. What is this? Scissors kick. Cover center of the ring. That gets it done. DK Cooper picks up the win in our opening matchup. A very impressive match between these two. And that's He gets the job done in our opening contest here. They now go to our next contest here. Our first and really only women's match here for the night. Kira taking on Rachel Ellering. We've seen uh, we've seen Rachel Ellering here before. Kira, I don't really remember. I think we have, but I'm I'm not sure. But this should this should be a good an awesome match, all things considered. Of course, we as, as as I mentioned, Rachel Ellering hasn't been a part of Machete Pro. Very much been uh, in the first uh, come together show, teaming up with Jordan Grace. So this is basically well, it's her second match, I think, really, here in Machete Pro. But we're gonna go to their next contest here: Kira, Rachel Ellering. Let's do it. Here we go. A lot of starting with a lockout between these two. Big arm drag by Kira. Kira, of course, very, might be the very first time we've seen her here in Machete Pro. Uh, don't really know a whole, a whole lot about her. I didn't really expect her to be here tonight. <laughs> Rachel Ellering, as I mentioned, have has been here in Machete Pro. Not her first time. Kick across the face, though, by Kira. Not letting up suplex. Kira really taking advantage of this contest here. Oh, no, choose each other. Four across the face. Both are two of those. Throwing Rachel Ellering to the outside. Referee starting the count. Only getting into one, though. Big spine buster by Rachel Ellering. What is it? Kick across the face again. Got a 
chomp across the face. Richard Ellering taking advantage here. Throwing Kira to the corner. Stomping a mud hole. Going for the neck choke. And referee not getting in to stomp it. Very much, I mean, okay. A European upper kind of chop across the face. Rich Hellery winning the exchange there. Big senton. Oh, leapfrog. Kick to the gut. Kira goes for a clothesline. Drags Ellering out of the ropes there. And another kick to the face. Really relying on those. Rich Hellery looking to work on the arm. A big ol' elbow as well. Of course, later on tonight in our main event, AJ Gray looking to become Gold Bull Champ, covered by Kira. Looking to become Gold Bull Champion as he faces Neil Diamond Cutter for the title. We saw a few weeks back, oh, covered by Kira, two, no. We saw Neil Diamond Cutter retain the title via KO, knocking out Sadamora with the Death Valley Driver in the triple in the triple threat match. I mean, we have seen AJ Gray knock out someone with the, you know, with the Lariat, so this could be interesting to see. Keith Lee, of course, also still has that, uh, very much still has that Gladiator Bull shot that he could cash in at any time. So it's going to be interesting to see if he, if he will cash in. He is, he's not booked tonight, he doesn't have a match. But he could do it. Yeah. Here with a drop kick. Cover. Hooks the leg. Gets the t gets a two though. Does not quite get it done. Ellering dragging Kira. He big discus forearm. Kira not getting right back up. Taking down Ridge Ellering. Big German suplex cover too. No. Both bump into each other here. Kira would be sort of an interesting person I'd love to see in the in the come together shows. Cover by Rich Ellering. Could she get it done? No. Big ol' driver, Kira, moonsault, legs are in the ropes though. Richard Ellering taking advantage, going for a kick to the thigh of Kira there. And a bunch of forearms to the face. Kira down and out, can't seem to take advantage. Goes for that driver again, could, is she going for that moonsault? She could be, she does, oh but she misses! Rich Ellering, big spine buster. Looks to take advantage. Really going for that thigh there. TKO. Kira's right back up though. What is... Oh, looked like she was going to go for the suplex there. Couldn't get it. Both of them are down here. Kira very much tired. She could be going for that... Oh, no, she's not going to go for the moonsault. Goes for the kick instead. And a drop kick as well. And another drop kick as well. Look, cover. Center of the ring. That's no... You. That's not it. Still in it. Chop across the face. Big discus forearm knocks down Kira. Kira going for a drop kick there. Kira really can't do the moonsault. Very much tired out. Oh, runs again a punch. Oh, for the legs. Get. Big forearms and a discus one at that senton by Rachel Ellering. Roll up. Oh my god, a double thumb to the stomach. Big German cover. That's a rope breaker. All right. I, eh. Fair enough. German suplex. Big ol' arm drag. She's calling for a field gold here, but she's not taking advantage. Very much taking a break. To taking a breather. I don't know how wise that is. Big hair pull there. Referee just gonna allow that, I guess. Big forearm to the face. Kira with a reversal. Picking up Rachel. Go for a kick to the back of the thigh there. TKO by Ra Rachel. Kira's right back up. Kira. Drop kick. 
Going for the head there. Cover. Two. No. Still in it. Very much still in it. Garrett going for drop kick yet again. Goes for the cover. Is that it? No. Rachel Ellering still has some fight left. Of course, a few matches after this. Kelly Kelly, Dan Housen reigniting that feud that we saw uh, last week. And one for all. What the hell? What? In oh my god! Slams her down! What the hell? Did she take her finisher? What the fuck? TKO takes down Kira. Is that it? Two. No. Very much still in it. Kira going for an elbow to the back and a stomp to the head. These two have to be tired. 20 minutes have passed. Almost 21 minutes have passed in this contest. Bunch to the face. Very multiple punches on that one. Big fucking boot. Kira going for a kick to the gut. Telling off Rachel Ellering, but might be a little too might be a little too late early for that. Big ooh, good move there. Rachel Ellering taking a breather as well. It's exchanging strikes here. Big drop kick. Takes down Rachel Ellering. Go for that kick to the face. Rich Ellering going for that TKO again. Is that it? Out of the ropes. No. Kira's still in it. Kira picking up. Rachel Ellering. Big old driver. But Rachel's right back up. TKO. Yet again. Goes for the pin. Is this it? That's it. Rachel Ellering picks up the win. In our second match of the night. <laughs> there you go. She gets the job done. With that TKO. Very impressive match between these two. As we move on to our next contest here. Wolf, Wolf Hawkfield. Taking on. Haruki Goto. This one. Could be a little interesting. Two people I don't think we've ever really ever seen go at it. And here we go here with our next contest. Wolf Hawkfield, Haruki Goto. Let's do it. It's going to get right into it here. Third match of the night, of course. After this, we have, of course, our first tag, our only tag match for tonight. <laughs> Starting up with getting the lockup here. Ruki Goto on the advantage. Both of these men very well known in uh, Japanese wrestling. Wolf Hawkfield, one of the many gaijins in all of Japan wrestling at the time of the, in the 90s. Ruki Goto, of course. Very much a lot of a lot of accomplishments to his name. Uh, former IWGP Intercontinental Champion. Former Never Open Weight Champion. And, of course, a former IWGP Heavyweight Tag Team Champion. Very much kind of... Very much the favorite to win this match, perhaps. Wolf Hawkfield giving it his all, though. Go through the pin, but doesn't hook that leg. Armbar. Doesn't quite get it. Oh my god, choke, choking him. Doesn't get it, though. Ricky Goto really relying on the submissions here to take down Wolf Hawkfield. They're scrapping the whole punch in a form. Ricky Goto winning that exchange. Big ol' scoop and a slam cover. Gets a two. Wow. Almost it for Haruki Goto. As he goes for that arm of Wolk Hawk, Hawkfield there. Kick to the thigh. Of course, there's a lot of uh, New Japan people here tonight. Of course, we got all as, as well as, you know, we have Kota Ibushi. 
And of course, Kazucho Okada in the semi main taking on Darius Carter. Kota Bushi, of course, taking on Jimmy Wang Yang. A lot of, a lot of uh, new people will see it. Slide down there. Oh, bumping into each other and a big old knee to the face. Goto going for that choke. Is that it? Not quite. Going for that arm of Wilcock Fields. Big old rolling sent on there. Landing hard. Our kicks to the gut. Going for the what the hell? Oh my god, it's <laughs> Will Garfield getting somehow gets out of that hole. Good lord. Go for the arm. Go, go for that rear naked choke. Could this be it? No. Will Garfield getting out of that move. Forearm to the face. Goto dragging Will Garfield from the ropes. Goes for that submission again. Is that it? He's looking to make Hawkfield tap out or give up. These two going at it here. There is a tw 20 count on the outside. Oh, good move there by Goto. Yeah. Ushi Garushi. Is that it? Is yeah. is it going to... That's a big, loud grunt. Sorry, I, I'm, just, I'm just doing my job. Goto, damn. Good lord. Goto goes for that Ushi Garushi again. Landing out that big old grunt. Power bomb by Wilk Hawkfield, taking the advantage back here. Big old slam as well. Hooks the leg cover. Wow, very close. A 2.9. Big old kicks to the stomach of Wilk Hawkfield. Throws him in the corner. Puts him up. Could go for a superplex. He does. Goto's right back up. Hooks the leg. Is that it? No. Hook Hawkfield. Wolf Hawkfield very much still in it. Goto's showing that fighting spirit, but gets reversed into a, a, a Russian leg sweep. Well, Garfield, oh, good old Turtle Tilt the World cover to no. And a big old body slam. Cover to yo. Now they're exchanging punches here, ladies and gentlemen, and those of unspecified genders. Big old discus clothesline. Knee there to the face, takes down Hawkfield. Oh, this Hogoto looking like signaling this to be the end. Big ol' suplex cover. Doesn't get it. Hawkfield kicks out 2.9. Big ol' Olympic slam. Couldn't that be it? Is that all over? No. Hawkfield still in it. Kicks to the gut. And another kick as well. Goto not going to take advantage. He's very much tired fatigue there ushi garushi yet again go to once again signaling to the end but doesn't do it reversal wilcoffield's gonna do a six circle and gets reversed big old scoop and a slam cover no big old slam as well hawkfield very much tired what the hell? Oh my god. Cover. Doesn't hook the leg. No. All cover. Two. No. Very much still in it. Big ol' bulldog. Kicks to the gut. And another kick as well. Goto. These two going out of here. Back body driver. Both men are back up knee to the face. Well, Cockfield hype, hyping himself up here. I push shoves him. Tilt a world. Cover hooks the leg. Two. No. Big old. Not a headbutt. Wish by Goda. What the hell? Big old forearm across the head. DDT planted. Goda right on his head there. Dive and splash cover. No, still in it. Very much still in it. Rockfield getting kicked in the gut yet again. 
Son of the ring there, Senton. DDT plants him yet again. Picks up Goto. Goto go for that Olympic slam, but sends Hawkfield to the outside. They're gonna fight it out here. Oh my god! Well, that's an awesome move. Ushigurushi, they have a 20 count. Wait a minute, Hawkfield just gonna take the win, I think. No, Goto's right back in. Gets back at 16. Big clothesline. Almost like a Rainmaker. German suplex by Hawkfield. Go through that clothesline yet again. And another Hawkfield taking advantage here. Posing. I don't think it's no time to do that. Suplex. Cover. Two. No. Big old shoulder tackle. Hawkfield hyping himself up here. Tilt to world. Cover. Two. That's it. Wolf, Haw Wolf Hawkfield picking up the win. What a match. What a fucking match right there. God damn. Very impressive match that we've seen here tonight, as always. Wolf Hogfield picks up the win. To... Right now, we're going to get to our next contest here. Our tag team match. Intergender. Kelly Kelly and Eve Torres teaming up to take on Warhausen. This is, of course, uh, sort of a feud we're revisiting. We saw Danhausen take on Kelly Kelly last week. Uh, very much those two revisiting that feud. And it looks to be that they've decided to have another match. This time a little different, bringing in tag team partners for the occasion. Here we go with our... Oh, wait, hold on. Excuse me. I, I almost forgot. We're going to go to our first and only tag team contest of the night. Kelly Kelly, Eve Torres, teaming up to take on Warhausen. And it's starting right now. This is going to be a tough task here to call this match, but it is what it is. Looking like there was a double team there between Danhausen and Jake Part or uh, War Warhorse. Eve Torres, first time we're seeing Eve Torres here, I believe, in Machete Pro. Very much also, I believe, the first time we're seeing Warhorse as well. A lot of new faces here tonight, as usual. Dan Allison, Irish with Eve Torres. Change here, punches. Eve Torres, take it. Hang on, Dan Housen here. Warhorse handling Kelly Kelly. Torres being dragged across the ring there. This is loud, ladies and gentlemen. I gotta fix my headphones, so I hope you guys do not mind that noise. Kelly Kelly sent to the outside. Countouts also uh, in, a, in, a, in a count. Oh my god, leg lock there by Eve Torres. Really showing off that greasy training. Eve Torres sent to the corner. Suplex reversal. Chop off there. Dane Hells sent to the corner by Eve Torres. Jake. I, was call, I want to call him Jake Parnell for some reason. I don't know why. Warhorse. Right, advantage. Hurricane Rana. Kelly Kelly, a new look for her here tonight. Last time we saw her, very much wore the old gear. Oh my god. Going for that submission does not make uh, Eve Torres tap out. Oh, 
Slug up here. What the hell? Oh my god! Rampage. Cover by Danhausen. Golink is a one though. Tag team matches are very tough tasks to referee, of course. I know Envy got a good old Mills Lane here. Get kicks to the gut and the head of E Torres there. What the hell? Roll up. Rope break though. Big old jawbreaker. Damn, I was looking. Oh, GTS by Danhausen and Tanif Torres. We saw that last week. Arm drag by Danhausen there. Warhorse going for the leg of Ellie Kelly. Step up in the Geary by Warhorse. Going for the submission again. There's a lot to call here. Cover hooks the leg here. No, only getting a one. Oh, double stomp by Warhorse. Holy crap. To get to two off of that, surprisingly. Jesus. Moonsault. Not the booty popping variation, but gets the moonsault. Both of them getting one, though. Uh, well, not everyone's perfect. Rope break there. It, they are very much together. I can barely see. They're not as bad now, of course. But it's, you know. Eve Torres sent to the outside. Countouts, as I mentioned, do apply. Warhorse working on the leg of Kelly Kelly is there. Big old drop kick, and another one as well. Warhorse and Kelly Kelly above each other. Kelly Kelly just slapping Warhorse in the face. Northern Lights! I doesn't get it though. Oh, big flatliner. Who better than Eve Torres? See? Oh, going for that boss. Going for the one legged boss and crab. Oh, K. Is that the K2? She just said it was over. No, that's a one. Exit the gut. Don't face buster there by Kelly Kelly. I was ladies and gentlemen, I was not expecting this match to go more than 15 minutes, but it is happening. Dane Helsing going for a Hurricane Rana. Whoa. Both of them running on the ropes. Almost bumped into each other. Steve Torres. <laughs> Kelly Kelly going for dropkick. I just pooped in my mouth. Oh my fucking god. Oh, fuck me. Oh, lip lock. That's it. Eve Torres just throwing in the towel. Danhausen and Warhorse picks up the win. Holy shit. There you go. Gets the job done. Warhausen picking up the win. The lip lock, a very dangerous move. No one has ever really gone out of it. And I now load up my phone to see what match is next. It is, of course, Kota Ibushi taking on Jimmy Wang Yang. This should be interesting. This is, uh, it is gonna be something, I'm telling you. You thought, I mean, this, you know, there's been crazy matches here tonight, but this might be the craziest of them all here. Both things have been very much, uh, very beloved wrestlers by their own rights here. As we now get to our to our uh, fifth match of the night here, as as it is Kota Bushi taking on Jimmy Wang Yang. This should this should be fun. This should be definitely interesting. And here we go. Kota Bushi starting off with a kick there, going for the kick. Jimmy Wang Yang getting an advantage. I believe we have seen we have seen Jimmy Wang Yang before. Very early on in Machete Pro, I believe in the 
first few shows, he fought TK Orion, albeit a little bit more differently. You know, he's just good old Jimmy Yang. But it seems like, you know, he's embraced his, uh, his southern side of sorts. Very much embracing that, uh, the redneck left lifestyle. Kota Bushi, very first time we're seeing Kota here tonight. So it's always a treat to see someone like him, the Golden Star. Was the very last man to hold both the IWGP Heavyweight and Intercontinental Championships, defeating Naito for those titles. Very much has done it all and won it all in New Japan Pro Wrestling. Hooks the leg, doesn't get it. Also was in the Cruiserweight Classic, had an impressive match, I believe, with uh, Cedric Alexander. The guy's been someone that's literally seen everything. All oh, Jimmy Wang Yang locking the leg. Doesn't get that submission, though. Elbow to the upper back. Big ol' body slam. Dakota Ibushi. Musal cover. No. Doesn't get it. Kota Ibushi looking like oh, Jimmy Wang Yang with a chop. Kota gets some change. Yelling in the face of Jimmy Wang Yang there. Laying it all out. Big ol' DDT to Kota Ibushi's head. I think throws Jimmy Wang Yang outside. Takes a breather. The referee starting the 20 count. Sweeps the leg. Rob Lowe, Chad Lowe. Straight up a punch in the face. V-trigger. Cover. Two. No. Kicks out. Punches him a fucking gun. I think I was for it again. Cover. This is it. Jimmy Wang Yang kicks out. Jimmy Wang with that. Oh, drop kick. Sending Abushi to the outside. Chop across the chest. There's a 20 count here. Both men could get counted out. They don't, though. Slides under. Oh, it looks like Jimmy Wang is going to go over some, but Dakota, Dakota bumping into him. Kick to the kick to the back. Big old body slam. Kicks. Ah. The gut there. Kota Bushi really taking advantage here. DDT by Jimmy Wang Yang, but Kota's right back up. What the hell? <laughs> Kota. Wait, oh, referee got out of the way. Holy shit. That is awesome. 20 count, of course, happening here. Drop across the chest there. They're exchanging. They're fighting. They're scrapping. Jimmy Wang Yang. Oh, Kota Bushi's right back up. Big old Pele kick there by Kota Bushi. What the hell? Kick to the back. Jimmy Wang Yang right back up, though. Oh, my God. Mills Lane is down. No. Not Mills Lane. Fuck. There's no referee. We need a ref for this goddamn thing. Kota Bushi just whooping ass. Mills Lane is back up, ladies and gents. He's fine. Big old clothesline by Kota Bushi. Kick to the back. What the hell? That was kind of cool. Cover. Two. No. Hurricane Rana by Jimmy Wang Yang. Big old wheelbarrow kick. Jimmy Wang Yang on the advantage here. Goes for that takedown again. Moon Salt catches it. Cover. Is that it? No. Still in it. Kota Bushi right back up. Kicks the back. Signaling for the V trigger to the face. But Jimmy Wang Yang's right back up. He says, fuck that shit. He says, I'm not, I, I, I ain't gonna lose to that. Jimmy Wang Yang drags Kota. Drops a blunt. Chomp that blah 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 blocks the punch. I can't speak. There's a lot going on. Blocks that again. Irish whip. All oh, bumping into each other. Very two strong men. Jimmy Winging is dazed. Goes for that snap suplex though. Gets right back into it. Under the forearm to the back. 
What? Oh my god, reversal! DT! Kick to the kick to the back. Give me Wang Yang dragging Koda out of the corner there. He doesn't get it. Irish whip to the ropes. Her oh my god, just drops Koda on his head. Jesus Christ. Kicks to the gut. And another kick as well. Punch to the stomach of Jimmy Wang Yang. Jimmy Wang Yang countering though. Koda Bushi with an elbow. Chop across the chest. Kicks to the gut. Kicks to the face. Kota Ibushi dragging Jimmy Wang out of the corner. Oh my god. Just keeps dropping him on his head. But Kota's back up. He's still good. Drop kick. Both men are down. Kota's right back up though. As soon as I say he gets punched. And he goes down. Oh my god. Kota Ibushi just really going for that offense here. Wilborough kick by Jimmy Wang Yang. Kota Ibushi back up dragging Jimmy out of the corner. Going for those kicks and punches. But Jimmy Wang Yang feigning the dazed fucking look. Throws him. Jimmy Wang Yang going on top. Whoa, okay. That was kind of cool. I don't think... It didn't look like that was all he was going to go for, though. Oh, my fucking God. Just yells in his face and goes for a Pele. Kota Bushi showing off. Power bomb cover two. That's it. Go Kota Abushi. Okay, calm down, dude. God damn. <laughs> Kota Abushi picks up the win. God damn. I'm also really hoping I don't get this. I hope this video don't get copyright claimed because of the song. Ah, oh, okay. Well, there you go. The final bomb. Yeah, he fucking. That sounded like a final bomb. I'm not fucking was screaming. We're going to go to our third to final match here. Larry D making his return to Machete Pro to take on Caden Carter. As I now look for impact, I thought it was... Oh, right, there it is. What the fuck? I should have... Oh, there he is, yeah. Messy here, let's go. As I now look for Caden Carter. Where's NXT? I gotta see if someone's uploaded the the new NXT logo. I just I just need to see if someone has. I really shouldn't have three Ember Moons, but all right. I mean, whatever. Here we go with our third to final match here. Larry D. Caden Carter. Let's do it. Should be interesting to say the least here. Larry D, as I've mentioned, we've seen him before, took on Ronda Rousey in one of the early shows here, Machete Pro. Caden Carter, I don't remember ever really seeing her in Machete Pro. I don't believe this. This might be her debut. Of course, after this match, we have the All Father, Darius Carter, taking on the Rainmaker, Kazuchika Okada, and of course, in our main event, AJ Gray, the truth himself. Taken on Neil Diamond Cutter for Cutter's Gold Bowl Championship. Gray has been wanting to cheese for that gold and has had one opportunity to become champion. Failed to do so many times. Had the opportunity to win the uh, Gladiator Bowl. To fail to do that in the finals as a eventual as the winner for that tournament, Keith Lee defeated him in the finals to win the tournament. And to get that shot, he still has it. We ne we never know. I mean, he could cash in here tonight. Oh, drops him on his fucking head. Jesus, Caden, what the fuck? Arm to the face. Punch to the head. Camel clutch by Larry D. Caden Carter's still in it, though. DDT, though. I accidentally turned off my microphone. That's fucking great. <laughs> well, we're good now, though. Maybe that was God's way of telling me to shut up. Well, it didn't work. <laughs> Big ol' splash, though. That definitely worked. Cover! Two! No. Big ol' went for the drop kick. Caden going for the neck breaker as well. 
or snapmare. That's not a neck breaker. It never move. Very deep. Right back up. Gets picked down though. Punch to the head. Head butt. Big ol' arm drag though. Covered. Gets a two though. Punch to the head. Punches to the title. Larry to go for those punches to Caden Garter. Headbutt. Larry D. Big ol' spear! Holy shit! Hooks the leg cover! No! Doesn't get it. What the hell? Suplex sending Caden on the outside. Larry D. Very much taking a breather as usual. Changing punches here. Caden with a super kick. Cooks the leg. She's in the ropes though. What the hell? I didn't do anything there. Missed. Cover. No, gets a one. Rope break there. Caden Carter looking like she's gonna go for something here. Goes for a crossbody cover. Gets the two though. Doesn't quite get it done. Caden goes for that crossbody again. And then goes for a destroyer. Holy fucking shit. Big ol' punch. They better get back in the ring or this will be a count out for both of them. They neither of them win. And Larry D. Can can he make it? Oh, very close. Getting counted out. Not getting the winner's purse. <laughs> the, there is no purse on the line. I, 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 <laughs> although I might have to make that a thing. I don't know. I'll, I'll find some. Punches. Going for scrapping. Punching. Punching Caden in the head there. Kick to the gut. Oh, backslide, bitch. Cover. No. Forearm to the face. Forearm to the face. Gaten Guard gets sent to the corner. Larry D with a big old splash. Cover. Hooks the leg. No. Caden's still in it. Kicks to, kick to the gut. Big old sidewalk slam. Larry D going for that big old splash. And then sends Caden to the outside. Gaining days right now, but she gets right back in. The old sidewalk slam yet again. Backside bitch cover. Two. No. Backside bitch again. Cover. Two. No. Big old body slam by Blairy D. They're scrapping right now. They're gonna go back and forth here. Super kick. Caden, slide ducks under, big clothesline, super kick, really showing that NXT training as she gets around to the outside. Count out starting, 20 count as usual. Punch to the head, punch to the stomach. Good exchange. Reversal by Caden Carter. Caden Carter, oh, looks like it's going to go for the spear there, but Caden getting right out of it. Elbow. She's posing. Probably shouldn't have done that. Su Suplex. Holy shit. Sends Larry D to the outside. Kick to the stomach. Larry D goes for that spear. Hooks the leg. That's gotta be it. That is it. Larry D picks up the win. Against Caden Carter. 
What a fucking match. Ah, damn. Bagel Spear really hooked that leg, too. Now we're going to go to our semi-main event. Darius Carter, the All-Father, has really been wanting this match for a long time. And tonight, he's getting that opportunity as he takes on the Rainmaker, Kazuchika Okada. This is going to be... This is, of course, your semi-main event of the night here. This is going to be an interesting match. This is a match that is, for a long time, it's been coming for all Darius Carter. Time is a flat circle. But will history probably repeat itself? Will we see Darius Carter pick up the win tonight? Or will the Rainmaker prove yet another war yet another win? I don't know why the fuck I said warrior, but here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Starting off here, starting. Okada right on the advantage. Darius Carter getting right back off, right back up. Excuse me. Darius Carter. The last time we seen him was uh at the Gladiator Bowl. We saw him, I believe, picked up the win against uh, the Calvin Tankman in the first round. Until I believe he had either, I believe he had lost to Keith Lee in the semifinals. Of course, as I've always mentioned, Darius Carter loved doing the Rainmaker pose. Very much, I've always been saying, he could be calling out Okada, and he's finally getting that match right now. Getting that dropkick to the face. I'd have to imagine if Darius Carter does win this match, it could boost his ego. Roll up, though. It could boost that man's confidence and also ego. If he can't... I mean, he can say he beat the Rainmaker. And there's not a lot of people that can say that. Darius with a pile driver to the head of Okada. Bunch of the face. Irish whip. Big elbow. Okada's right back up. Holy fucking shit. Senton hooks the leg to... No. Super kick to the face of Okada. Darius going for the knees to the stomach. European uppercut. Hooks the leg. Only gets a one. Wow. Oh, went for a big old cold line there. Of course, after this, we have our main event. AJ Gray looking to become Gold Bolt Champion as he takes on Neil Diamond Cutter. And we could see... Oh my god. We could see Keith Lee as well, maybe. I mean, I don't know. But you never know. We, I mean, we haven't seen Keith Lee in the building, so you'd have to assume he's not here tonight. But big pile driver to Okada, drop kick, a beautiful drop kick is always by the Rainmaker. Big old forearm. Okada's right back up, goes for the elbow. Dragon Darius. Irish whip, big old tackle there. Darius goes for the kick. Big old tombstone pile driver. Not a delicious pizza. Elbow to the face. My fucking battery is running low in our semi-main event. But this, sh this match is never running low here, ladies and gents, and those of unspecified gender. But I now charge my laptop again. This is just becoming a thing in Machete Pro, because I don't charge my fucking laptop. But it's funny, and we're back. We never left, but damn it, we're back. This is raw German suplex. Wow. Almost puts away Darius Carter. Carter throws a good old happy slam. Hooks the leg. No. Almost three. Almost a second away from the 
we, we almost could have been a second away from o from Carter beating Okada. I don't want to be biased when I do these, but I'm hoping Okada wins this match. I don't want to hear Darius Carter brag about him beating Okada. It's the last thing I need right now. It is legitimately the last thing I fucking need. Big ol' elbow. European uppercut. Oh, big ol' boot. He's signaling it. I'm. Oh boy. Dari's not taking advantage though. Whoa, money clip? Is it a money clip? No, doesn't get it. Big ol' big old boot to the face. He does the Rainmaker pose in front of Okada, but Okada goes for the tombstone. He does it in return. Wow. God damn. All right. Big old slam there. Elbow to the face. Okada. Getting sent to the outside. But Okada's right back in. Super kick and a stomp to the face. By Carter drop kick. Elbow to the face. Irish whip to the corner. Darius sent to the outside here. Okada or Darius not sent to the outside, excuse me, but Okada gets sent to the to the outside there. Big body slam by Okada. What the hell? Oh my god, just stomp fucking knee to the head. And a drop kick in return. Irish whip, duck under, duck under. Drop kick does not connect though. Nosebreaker, code breaker, cover. Oh, almost a second away from having to live a goddamn nightmare. Okada with a kick though. Murder. Puts up Okada. Could be going for a superplex. Okada reverses. Elbow to the stomach. But he can't take advantage. Carter right back up. He's signaling to the end here. Clothesline does the Rainmaker pose yet again. And goes for that kick. Cover to... Oh my god. <laughs> Okada's right back into it. But Carter reverses. Ladies and gentlemen, this is not even your main event. This is the semi-main God damn. Tombstone. Troll. Oh my god. Just a very interesting variation on the tombstone. Super kick. Big ol' shoulder tackle. Elbow to the upper back. Elbow to the face. Big ol' European uppercut. They're exchanging punches here. They are scrapping here, ladies and gentlemen. Carter's saying, no, uh Okada returns the favor. But Carter's right back up. Elbow to the upper back of Okada. Oh, drop kick. Beautiful. Step up in the Guri by Darius Carter. Roll up. No way. Center of the ring. Oh, 2.9 yet again. A European uppercut. Rainmaker! The... R cover! No! Darius kicks out of it! He kicks out of it! What the fuck? Cover! No way! Oh my god. Still in it. Darius Carter just kicked out of the Rainmaker, though. What the hell? A little sad. I thought that was it. Oh, burn drag reversal. Okada. Oh, got his punch in the gut there. Another tombstone pile driver. Oh, you're a little too early to post there. Suplex, center of the ring. That's it. Humbled is Darius Carter. As he fails to put away Kazuchika Okada. It was time for him to put up or shut up. And thankfully, Okada managed to shut Darius Carter up. Thank God. <laughs> oh, oh my God. There you go. That, As I mentioned, that is not even your main event. It is your semi-main. But right now, we are going to go 
to our main event. The Gold Bowl title is on the line. Neil Diamond Cutter defends against AJ Gray. We saw AJ Gray last week pick up the win over Jun Akiyama and Kenta Kobashi with, of course, PB Smooth. Tonight could be his night. This could be the night that we see a new Gold Bowl champion, or we could see a retain. We could see him retain tonight. You never know. But here we go with our main event: the Gold Bowl title on the line here. The Truth, AJ Gray, looking to become champion as he faces the the underdog, the little the what the uh, wildest hooligans. What his nickname is? I can't check his nickname. All right, fuck it. I thought I was going to be slick. But, ladies and gentlemen, this is your main event here. Gold Bowl title on the line. AJ Gray, Neil Diamond Cutter. Let's fucking do it. This is it's a, lot of, a lot of crazy things, man. Here we go. AJ Gray has been someone we have seen since the very first show. We saw him in the main event of the very first Machete Pro. Picked up the win against uh, Darius Carter. Funny enough. He's been wanting to become champion ever since the ever since Machete Pro number six. He failed to do it. And he failed to win the Gladiators Bowl. But he could do it here tonight. Big old body slam to Neil Diamond Cutter. Neil Diamond Cutter, very much one of those uh, people that very much very much shocked the world when he had won the Gold Bowl Championship. He managed to knock out Ace Austin. I mean, even last week he had fought Jane, uh, John Wayne Murdoch, won that match. It was very much a shocking upset to see John Wayne Murdoch win the title. Or not Jane Wayne excuse me, Neil Diamond Cutter. Cover by Car or cover by Gray. Is it not it, though? Cover by Gray. No PB Smooth here tonight. Funny enough, swinging neckbreaker. Big ol' suplex. Stomps to the gut. A big ol' shawinging neckbreaker. It'll be interesting. We've we both we've seen both of these men having moves that knock out other wrestlers. Uh, of course, Neil Diamond Cutter with his signature Death Valley Driver managed to knock out both Ace Austin and Michael Satamora, former two former Gold Bowl champions. AJ Air Force knocked out. Oh, he's using that Larry and not quite the one, the same Larry as he knocked out Darius Carter with it, the first ever uh, Machete Pro. He has a light tube. I, I, you can't use that, Neil. What the hell? Not a death match, ladies and gentlemen. This is a normal matchup for the Gold Bowl title. No weapons are allowed. Larry, cover, center of the ring. No. D Neil Diamond Cutter kicks out. That was that Larry that knocked out Darius Carter way back when. Doesn't get it though. Cover. Is this it? No, oh my God. Very close. Very, very close. Sidewalk slam by AJ Gray. Throws. Gray throws. What the hell? Oh my God. Throws Neil Diamond Cutter back in. AJ Gray going for the fucking kick there, it looks like. He picks up. No, I'm kind of right back into it. Death Valley Driver to Neil Diamond Cutter doesn't knock him out though. He's right back up. Lariat, Lariat, cover. Is this it? No. Neil Diamond Cutter still has some fight in him. Bullet Driver, cover. Two. No. Oh my God, this is just back and forth here, ladies and gentlemen. Cover yet again. Is this it? No. Great. Really desperate. Really going for a lot of pins. To win this matchup, but it's just not gonna work. Uh oh, uh oh. It doesn't knock out Gray! Death Valley Driver does not knock out Gray! He's still in it! What the hell? The champion! He's going for it again here! Doesn't get him again! What the hell? AJ Gray's got some fight in him! Power Bomb! Cover! Two! No! Gray still... He still has to fight. 
he got that side of suplex. Oh, Neil Diamond Cutter with a fucking all oh, all reversal by Gray. Playing possum here. Gray with a headbutt. The Gray going up top here. Big oh misses the light drop though. Neil Diamond Cutter. Oh no, Gray's right back into it. Death Valley. Death Valley still doesn't knock him out. Gray still got some fight in him. Neil Diamond Cutter, very desperate here. Lariat? No, it doesn't knock him out. Cover! Two! No! He's still in it. Neil Diamond Cutter's still in it. They're fighting on the outside here. Anything can happen. He's got a light tube. He's using the light tube. There are no DQs on the outside here. Neil Diamond Cutter, very much a desperate man here. Dar oh, you can't win the title like that, Gray. You can't... What the hell? He just used the table! Neil Diamond Cutter just used half of the table. Just got away with it. Punch to the face. What the hell? An eye ray as well. Neil Diamond Cutter really desperate to hold on to the title here. Irish Whip Clariot. Is that it? Is that it? It's over! AJ Gray finally does it! AJ Gray is Gold Bull Champion! He did it! He's finally done it! For the very first time, he has done it! AJ Gray is Gold Bull Champion! Wow! What a fucking main event! What a match! Holy crap! I mean, <laughs> that was incredible, to say the least. I mean, uh, wait, wait, hold on, wait, wait a minute. Wait, Keith, wait, Keith Lee's here? Keith, Keith Lee's here. Are you serious? Okay, Keith Lee's is here. He's cashing in the Gladiator Bowl. He's cashing in right now. What the hell? He's gonna, oh, he's gonna do it. All right. He's cashing in tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Keith Lee's cashing in the Gladiator Bowl contract. He's going to fight AJ Gray here for the title. And we already had a new champion. I don't know if he's... Is he... I, I guess he's ready for it. Here we go. Keith Lee and AJ Gray. What the hell? Uh, he's, he's cashing in right now here. Here we go. Keith Lee. I, I swear to God, we didn't see him in the building here. But... I guess he was just waiting for that opportune time to cash in, and he got it. I, I mean, AJ Gray, he's got to be fatigued from that match. He did get hit in the head with a piece of table, but he's holding his own here. Flatliner, stomped to the head. Keith Lee, I, 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 I honestly thought he would have just, I thought he would have been one of those guys to hold this, and then maybe like, you know. I asked beforehand, but no, he's just going to cash in right now. He's cashing in, and he's he's looking to become champion here. He could do it. Body slam by AJ Gray. Keith Lee sent to the outside. They're starting to count here. Mongolian shop. This is a, I mean, this is a match we've seen before. AJ Gray and, and Keith Lee very much. Oh, they're going to get counted out here. No, they're not. They're still in. They're going to get right back into it. I mean, this is... I, I, I don't want... I, I mean, I was not expecting this, okay? L ladies and gentlemen, I know I run a lot of things for this promotion. Was not. I was not expecting Keith Lee to be here tonight. Cover, though. Rope break. Keith Lee, we've seen very much dominant, defeated Maiko Satomura and Jun Akiyama. I mean, I, I I didn't think he was gonna cash in tonight. I thought he was gonna, I I didn't think it was I didn't think it was gonna happen. But he's cashing in tonight. Saw him run into the building. He said, "Hey, I'm cashing in, motherfuckers." And he, they, you know, Mill Slane's got to do it. Much to the dismay of the new champion. But he's holding his own here, Keith Lee. Though, the challenger holding, it got Gray here. Mongolian chop. Punch to the face. Is this... Whoa. 
I mean, I, I, I don't know what to say. I, I, I mean, I didn't think we, were, I didn't think we were gonna have nine matches here tonight, but we're having nine matches. I, Keith Lee just, I, we, I swear to God, I never, I didn't see him in the building tonight. I didn't hear from him. I had nothing. Is this Spirit Bomb? Spirit Bomb cover two. Wow, very close to a new Gold Bowl champion. I mean, we could still see it though. We already had one new champion with AJ Gray. I mean, I, I mean, we could see another one. I don't know. Big old spine buster. AJ Gray, though, getting right back into new champion. Very much still fatigued. Neil Diamond Cutter is not here right now. Big splash two. No, kick out. Oh, Lariat. AJ Gray with a brain buster. Big old punch there. Keith Lee throwing AJ into the corner. Just throws him as well. I mean, I, I, I don't think this is a decision. I don't think anyone's going to look fondly at for Keith Lee doing. I mean, I, I mean, it's one thing to cash in and fight for the title. It's another thing to steal a man's moment. And this might be a decision he may regret. I don't know, but... Driver by AJ Gray. He's, the new champion is tired out. Oh, no. Spirit Bomb, center of the ring... Whoa! Still kicks out. Neil, oh my, oh, Death Valley Driver, cover. That it? No, still in it. What the hell? Oh my God! Brain Buster. Brain Buster by Keith Lee. Going after the champion, the Spine Buster. Big punch to the face. Does it connect? Another Spine Buster. Oh, reversal by AJ. Big wheelbarrow kick. Both men are down. AJ, the champion, right back up here. As I mentioned, Neil Dunkutter just not here right now. Very much... I don't know where he went. Big old discus forearm. Oh my god, just plants AJ Gray on his head. Keith Lee. Just... Mongolian chop to AJ. Big, oh my, the big, the, the big size advantage here between these two men. German suplex sends Gray to the outside. I was, I mean, I didn't expect this match to go as long. I mean, Gray, you have to imagine, is tired out, but he's got cardio. Big shoulder tackle. Keith Lee cracking his knuckles. Big lariat to AJ Gray. Irish up to the corner. Big old fucking fireman's carry there. Oh, goes for the pin. Oh, two count. Gray still has fight. Big ol' Lariat. Is that it? No. Keith Lee's still in it. Both men are still in this. Big ol' suplex. And a clothesline. I guess a Lariat there. Gray's right back up, though. Big ol' suplex. Almost sends Keith Lee to the outside. Might have been the break he needs. Is this it? Whoa. Keith Lee stops himself. Big Lariat, center of the ring. Is this it? No, very close, though. Goes for a center of the ring cover. Is this it? New champion! What the fuck? There's two new champions. Keith Lee is champion. The Limitless champion. Bask in the glory, ladies and gentlemen. What the fuck? I mean, this is a very controversial decision, to say the least. I, I, I mean, it's one thing to take the title. It's another thing to take the man's moment. Keith Lee, though, is your Gold Bowl champion. Very much picks up the win. I, I mean, I don't, I don't know. I mean, that's, I, 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 I don't, I don't know, <laughs> like, I mean, there you go. There's your new Gold Bowl champion, uh, Keith Lee. A uh, very controversial decision by Keith Lee, but, I mean, he gets the job done. 3-0, and and he is your Gold Bowl champion. What the fuck? I'm very much... I, 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 I hate to be AJ Gray, man, but, you know, I, he, know, he, know, he knew. He just couldn't do it, though. Keith Lee... Is your Gold Bolt champion very much a controversial decision? I'm not going to lie. I don't, I, I'm not going to agree with him on that. That's a very dirty move by Keith Lee. I don't think AJ would have done that to him.
Very dirty move, but, you know, alas, he's still champion. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been Machete Pro number 15, Circles and Eras. I... I I I am shocked as much as you. Um, I if you if you want to subscribe for you know if you want to watch more Machete Pro, press that subscribe button and hit that bell notification. Hit that little bell icon. Get all of the get all the notifications. All right, just get all of them. You're gonna get you're gonna get all of them. And uh, if you're interested for more Machete Pro related card, if you want to actually, if you want to, you know, get updates on Machete Pro cards, whatever, go and follow at Midwest Machete on Twitter.com. We also have a Patreon and a Discord as well. The Discord, as per usual, if you want to suggest matches for Machete Pro, go on the Discord. You might get them, you might not get them. If you go on Patreon though and get a certain tier, you will definitely get a match for your recommendation on Machete Pro. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is. Been an interesting night to say the least. And it's funny because I believe next week's show is a another come together show. I I mean hey, no we have Majetta Burn number sixteen come together three. And very much this is a shocking development here. Uh if you you know we appreciate everyone for coming out here. We hope to see you for our next show, Machete Pro number 16, Come Together 3. Another time for us to celebrate women's professional wrestling. We will see you all later. I I don't know what else to say other than that. Bye-bye.